when's it gonna sink in? I'm in love with Kate, I'm gonna marry Kate, nothing you do is gonna sabotage oh, her. What? But can't you see that? I mean, what's the big deal? Marry Kate! Right. Marry shallow, narcissistic Kate, and you can follow her around and be Mr. Kate Howard. You I don't what? care! Stop, stop trashing her. Why do you do that? You're embarrassing yourself. You're a, you're a married woman. Why do you keep attacking the woman I love? I am so glad you love Kate because she's all you got. You don't have anything else. No, what I don't have are my children because you and Jason took them from me. Why? Why do we take them from you, Sonny? Why don't you have them uh, anymore? Excuse me. Why is Carly here and why is she yelling at you? Because you know what, Kate? It's what we do. It's called foreplay. Sometimes better than the sex itself. Hey. Hi. Where's Mercedes? I'm in the kitchen making lunch. Really? That was your karate class. Great. You want to show me some moves? Okay. Okay. That was awesome. Good job. Are you coming to my test on Saturday? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Ah, uh, esteemed father of mistress, sure. Come in. Hey. Uh, had, had the jackal known that? You'd be delivering his order with your own hard-working and hallowed hands. I wouldn't well, be yeah, actually, I just, I just like to get out from behind the counter every once in a while, so no. Yeah. Deepest gratitude. <laughs> um, if you seem Father would like to join the Jackal in his repast, I, you know, I, I'd, I'd be more than happy to share. Although I fear a single grilled cheese sandwich with fries and a side salad sans tomatoes might not go too well. Well, I, like, actually, I, I was hoping we could talk about the situation between Sonny and Jason. Uh, the, the, the Jack was not privy to the, the details of the agreement severing the former business partnership of Stone Cold and Mr. Sir. Perhaps, perhaps the brusque lady of justice is your lady. Uh, I'm, I'm not asking for privileged information here. I, I, I think that the best decision Sonny ever made was getting out of the mob and turning the reins over to Jason. What I'm worried about is that he won't be able to let go. And I'm wondering if he's been showing up at the office, you know, offering advice, that kind of thing. Uh, this Dean Father is attempting to gauge whether Mr. Sir will resume the mantle of power, as it were. Yeah, well, you know, I wouldn't put it quite so colorfully, but yes. Um. Well, Mr. Sir has stopped by what is now Stone Cold's office on a number of occasions, um, and the Jackal senses it did not end in brotherly accord. You know, uh, if the Jackal may offer a hypothesis, it seems Mr. Sir is angry at Stone Cold for taking over when it was Mr. Sir himself who wished to renounce the business in the first place. Yeah. Well, that's how addiction works, Spinelli. I mean, even though something is bad for you, I mean, even to the point of ruining your life, doesn't mean you want it any less. In fact, you want it more. And there are no 12-step programs for mob bosses who decide to, to give up their territory. Most troubling oversight by those of the rehab persuasion. So I'm hoping that, that this marriage to Kate will be enough to sustain Sonny. To... Has the esteemed father visited any online gossip sites of late? <laughs> the whole why? Well, uh, depending on Mr. Sir's tolerance for compromising photographs and the fashionista's capacity to explain away apparent infidelity... Hey, then... hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. Are you saying that Kate was unfaithful? Well, that matter is open to interpretation. Well, also, oh, okay, okay. Interpret for me. Um, the fiancé of Mr. Sir was photographed on her knees in the back of a limo with her face in close proximity to the belt buckle of Jasper Jacks. Logan's father is Scott Baldwin. 
Scott's a special prosecutor, remember? And Scott already tried to railroad Johnny after Johnny and Logan had that fight in the Metro Court lobby. And there's no proof that Logan tried to attack Johnny before Johnny killed him. So, I mean, Scott would probably charge him with murder. You thought of everything. No, it was Johnny that said Scott would come up with a murder charge and that we should dump the body and keep quiet. That's a decision made in the panic of the moment. Question, dear. Is your conscience tempting you to tell your father the truth? My conscience hardly ever tells me anything. I haven't said a word. And I won't. It's just me and Johnny and Claudia and Lulu and now you. And this guy, but he seems like the quiet type. Somehow I, uh... Lulu doesn't strike me as being the pragmatist you are. Lulu loves your son. I'm sorry, but she does. She'll do anything to protect Johnny. Actually, I wouldn't mind if that were true. Because if I ever believed that you and Lulu had betrayed my son, I would hate to see something happen to you two pretty kitties, but make no mistake. I will kill you and Lulu both. Go away now. Well, that went very well. A witness saw a vehicle matching this description leave the clinic after Logan Hayes' body was dumped. Lots of people have this make and model, boys. The victim didn't work for them. After that, your brother was arrested for publicly assaulting Logan Hayes. We have probable cause to impound this vehicle and have forensics look at it. But you're not touching my property until my lawyer gets here. Yeah. No one can call him. You have no reason to arrest me. You're here with the suspect. And what could be the means of transport for a murder victim? It's enough to take these both simple questions. Sir, but I'm not supposed to be standing next to my own car. And what are you doing here, Morgan? I got, I got nothing to say without my attorney. <laughs> you know, some people find you annoying, Morgan. I actually enjoy it when you refuse to cooperate. It means we can take you downtown and hold you for at least 48 hours. Let's go. Right from inside of me.